My name is David Wood and I have the pleasure to be here with uh, Dr. Venu Gopal, um, who is President of the Cardiological Society of India. Welcome. Thank you, Professor Wood. You come from a, a very big country, a pluralistic, multilinguistic country. Tell us about India. Yeah, India is a fascinating country. Which we have a growing economy. We are the second largest populous country in the world and we have as much diverse cultures as you can imagine. We have about 29 states. Each state would resemble a small country of the European Union with different uh, dietary patterns, different uh, populations and languages and habits. Therefore, it's very, very difficult in to pro pro produce programs to satisfy the entire country, especially on the health front. And so, how does the Cardiological Society of India face this this challenge? I mean, what, what, what are you doing professionally at a national level? Earlier in India, the basic uh, thrusters on non-communicable diseases. Now this has been changed. Now we are looking at non-communicable diseases, especially cardiovascular problems. And the Cardiological Society of India is now starting a preventive cardiology program. We are now having the first cardiology prevent program in Jaipur, I mean, sorry, in uh, Agra in uh, September 27th and 28th. And we are extremely happy to say that we, we have people coming from the European Association of Cardiac Prevention and Rehabilitation to help in this particular program. And we are actually one of the topics that we have selected is cardiac rehabilitation. And a renowned expert from uh, the European Society is coming to participate in that and tell us how to start a cardiac rehabilitation program. And we need to get messages of the uh, preventive aspects in cardiology, especially good diet, exercise, and uh, control of blood sugar and hypertension, and a ban on smoking. These are the thrust areas where the Cardiological Society is very much interested in. And we hope that the Cardiological Society will have uh, support from the government agencies and the administration to bring down these policies down to the grassroots level. Well, that's uh, very encouraging news. The first prevention meeting yes. conducted under the auspices of CSI. And, and how are you building relationships with the European Society of Cardiology? We have an excellent relationship with the European Society. For the last three, four years, the European Society has been regularly attending all our annual meetings, and the ESC has a three-hour program. And uh, we have a joint session with the European Society in these three-hour sessions where we discuss the problems which are particular to India and also the problems and we also get guidelines, uh, the guidance from the European Society, especially in uh, these aspects. So there's a very close relationship at the moment and we hope that this relationship will now extend to other specialities also, like the interventions, the imaging, the and other allied specialities that the ESC has. Very good. And it's been a pleasure to talk to you and to hear a little bit yes. of insight into your uh, immense and most interesting country. And uh, I wish you every success. Yeah, Thank I you think you, you should come down to India and <laughs> yes. be with part of at the CSI. I look forward to yes. that. Thank you very much. <laughs>